Little yard work, little manual labor, never, never hurt anybody, right? Get out there, work the muscles. Shout out to Matthias over in Belgium. I believe Matthias, right, If correct me if I'm wrong, but he does not go to the gym to work on strength training. He just works in his garden, and it's like, I, I love that. It's like, use what you have. He loves just like working out in his garden, you know, digging, working the muscles that way, and one of the most uh, successful heavyweight fighters, boxers in the world, George Foreman, that's what he used to do in, his, in the off season for training. He would just go do manual labor, and uh, anyway, I just love that. So, Matthias, shout out to you. And yes, time to rake up some pine needles. Let's do this, folks. Happy weekend to you. Happy weekend to you. All right, just getting loaded up for the run. Uh, the pine needles are, are raked up. We got a little manual labor in, feeling good about getting the yard cleaned up. And I'm feeling good about our Nike Vomero 14 situation, ladies and gentlemen. We did it like that. So somebody started a GoFundMe page to replace my Nike Vomero 14s, which were stolen last week out of a, uh, some bushes that I hid them in. It's a long story. Just go watch, go watch that vlog if you want to learn about it. And I published the video last night about those shoes being stolen, about the GoFundMe page, and basically by the time I woke up this morning at 7 a.m., we were funded. We had done it, and so thank you to everyone that gave and everyone that's just here. Like, it's just... It blew, it blew me away that by the time I had woken up this morning, we had already surpassed the $150 goal. And so, yes, of course, I will be acquiring new Nike Vomero 14s uh, probably tomorrow or Tuesday. I just got to go find a pair somewhere. So, thank you. We're going to do it. So, finally, I'll be able to get you guys a good full review of the Vomero 14s because we got we got new sh it's just it's just blowing me away blow me away all right i could talk about that all day i'll maybe come back to it here in a little bit but on my run today i got my backpack my raid light backpack and i'm going now i would not advise this but i'm going today i'm going to run in two different shoes i'm doing this again for you like don't go out and run in two different shoes on your runs like you just don't need to do that but i am running 10 miles today and i want to distribute my muscle memory um, availability to two different shoes so I can give you continue to give you my thoughts first of all I have not given my full thoughts on the Hoka Clifton 5s which I'm gonna run the second half of today's run in and I have not even given you my first impressions of the Skechers Ultra Go so I'm gonna start in the Skechers Ultra Go five miles and then switch over to the Hoka Clifton 5s and again I'm doing this to, for you so I can hopefully hopefully bring you a little bit of value and good information about what the shoes feel like underfoot, how they're react, how my body is reacting to the different types of shoes. That's what I'm doing for you. So let's let's lace up. Oh, Nike Vomero 14s. Now that is a good running shoe experience right there. Mm. Four point nine nine miles, almost exactly halfway. Going ten today. Started off in the Skechers, as I already mentioned, and doing well, doing well. All right, switching over to the Hoka, the Hoka Clifton Fives, uh, just to get that muscle memory feel once again. So let's switch over. The sun is uh, going away rapidly, so let's get this baby done. Let's get it done. Come on. Woo 
it's now time to talk about mileage. And watch out. <laughs> if you go down in the comments and you start reading, don't be overwhelmed, but I guarantee you, in like three hours after this video publishes, there's gonna be a lot of different ideas, uh, experiences, ideologies, theories shared in the comments about the topic of high mileage, low mileage, middle mileage, mixing it all up. And so, today's video, I'm not gonna share with you my opinion on what I think is best or what I prefer to do in my training as far as high mileage, low mileage. I'm simply going to communicate to you what my experience has been, uh, frankly, through the years. And then, why am I, why am I bringing this up now? Basically, I'm gonna ask a, a, an intriguing question of the day here in one second, because guess what? 2019 is right around the corner, which means for me, I am, yes, beginning to prepare a macro level training schedule for myself in 2019 as I prepare to run my first ever road marathon. I've never raced a marathon. 2019 is going to be the year that it happens, and therefore, I'm already beginning, not quite, probably the last week of December, between Christmas and January 1st, I will actually write out what my game plan will be for my overall macro level mileage for, for the entire year. Now, I won't stick to it uh, to a science, to a T. I'm gonna remain flexible. That's a lesson that I've learned through the years is even though you write it out, don't be afraid to remain a little flexible in your training based upon how your body feels. So that brings us to the question of the day. And this is not a time to boast, to brag. This is simply a time to get all of us thinking about where we've been, where we are, and where we are going. So where have we been? The question of the day. How many miles have you run, or kilometers, but how many miles have you run in 2018? I just hopped on Strava and I checked and I am at 2,523 miles. Pretty good, pretty good, we'll take it. So that, that's part one for qu the question of the day. Part two, what questions do you have for me about mileage or what is your opinion on mileage? High or low, middle of the road, mix it up. I'm, I'm just fascinated to hear what all of your ideas are, your ideologies, your philosophies are behind training volume, running volume on a, you know, on a, on a annual basis, on a monthly basis, um, even on a weekly basis. So comment below, I'd appreciate it. Now I'm gonna try and relay my experience at different levels of mileage to you without giving too much of my opinion, but it's naturally gonna come out just a little bit. But I, again, I'm gonna save that for another video for another day. Okay, high school, 25 to 35 miles a week was about, was the window that I, that I lived in for my mileage, my weekly mileage, 25 to 35 miles a week. Uh, went off to college and my high school 5K PR was 1627. Okay, went off to college and went to the University of Colorado, walked onto the cross country team, and basically we went, I went from that, you know, 35 mile a week, uh, maybe 40 approximately, all the way up to 75 miles a week. Pretty, basically immediately. Like I eased into it, but it was like within a month, I was up to 75 miles a week running with the University of Colorado cross country team. It was amazing and just like, it, it just blew my mind. When I did that, uh, okay, fast forward, my sophomore year, I was able to shave off about a minute and a half, almost two minutes from my 5K PR. It was pretty amazing, pretty amazing. And that's, you know, I bumped my mileage up from that 40 mile a week to 75 to 80 miles a week at CU, that's the college that I went to, and was able to, able to shave off about two minutes from my 5K PR. Then graduated from, oh, by the way, by the way, had a lot of injuries in college. We're going to talk about that at another time, but I did have a lot of injuries. Woo, baby. Okay, graduated and then took time off, was like five to six years of, you know, running like twice a week. Uh, you know, I, there was a, there was a time where I think I took like four or five months off completely. I just was like, I just needed a mental break. And then picked up running, picked up ultra running. So from about 2016 to the present, I've evolved a little bit 
into ultra running, which is long, long distance running. A, a lot of it happening at high altitude, up in the mountains, big mountain runs. So as far as the present in 2018, what was my longest training run? I believe I hit 42 miles for my longest training run. A little insane. And again, I am my own coach and I'm testing the waters. I'm trying to figure out different types of training and what works and what doesn't work. And it's fun. Like at the end of the day, I'm having fun with experimenting with different types of training and I love it. And so I'm not afraid to push myself. And so earlier in 2018, I was preparing for a 50 mile race. My long, it would have, it, at that time was my longest race attempt ever. And so that's why I was, I was trying to push my long runs higher and way, you know, to 42 miles for a training run. Like that, you know, it's a little, little crazy, a little crazy. Anyway, that is, and this year in 2018, I topped off, I think my biggest uh, week was about a hundred miles in one week and then 90 miles, 95 miles. Currently, I'm hovering right about 35 to 45 miles a week, sometimes 50. It's basically all, all I have time for. Anyway, that's been my brief summary of my mileage, and I'm not going to give you my thoughts right now on what I think is better or best, but I am fascinated. I cannot wait to get on the keyboard and start re replying to your comments on this topic. And again, we will follow up on it in late December, as I believe many of you probably will begin to kind of plot out your 2019 racing schedule and therefore your 2019 training schedule uh, in late December. That's when I plan to do mine. And I just want to begin to plant the seeds right now for figuring out, okay, what does that macro level mileage look like? I'm going to wrap it up there. It was a fun day in the Clifton Fives and the Skechers, and I will be doing some thoughts on these very soon. By the way, something arrived in the mail today. Something arrived in the mail. Stay tuned for that tomorrow. I love you. Thanks for being here and thanks for commenting. And again, thank you for everyone who helped me get those Vimero 14s. Their comment, uh, 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 it's amazing, amazing. It was like snap of the finger and I can reacquire some Nike Vimero 14s. Thank you. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow. Mm, love each other. You guys know how to love others.